If I see an opportunity, I never want to miss it. I feel like for me, there is no limit. My name is Gabriela Riza and I am 27 years old. I live in Brookfield, Illinois, and I am about nine miles from the city center of Chicago. Currently, I assist government, military, and police, making sure that their infrastructure is protected through cybersecurity. I think there's always ways to, to learn more about your money. I don't think I'm that great with money, but I feel like if I keep watching and reading more financial stuff, I can get better with money. I actually feel really comfortable with my salary. I think I don't really need to work as much as I do right now, but I have major goals and I just want to get to them as fast as I can. My mortgage is $1,707 a month, and that includes property taxes and interest. I don't want my possessions to own me. I actually want to be able to make my possessions work for me. The way I learned about money was actually a very unfortunate event. My family, we grew up pretty well off. My parents invested a lot in real estate. We were doing really well. And one day, my dad decided to take all the money and leave. And so my college fund was also taken from that as well. And my mom had to file for bankruptcy and we were pretty much out in the streets, sorry. <laughs> I think seeing that struggle with money that my mom had to go through and even trying to get through college really put me into perspective and realized, hey, I don't want to depend on other people for money. I wanna make sure that I'm well off. I decided to do a two-year program in one year, and I was also working 60-hour weeks. It just really helped with my career and just advancing in it. It was definitely an investment in me. I owe $55,000 in student loan debt. I think it was worth taking it on because now I'm looking at myself and I'm making even more than what I owe in just a single year. I'm hoping to pay them off in about 13 years. And that's pretty much if I pay like once every six months, like a big amount of money. Currently with Motorola, I have a Roth 401k and I contribute 15% and then they match 4%. And then I also have another Roth IRA and I contribute about 250 a month to that one. Sometimes it's harder to save just because there are home repairs and home repairs are really expensive. Um, so Rob will call you back because he has to look it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've been working at the library for about three and a half years and I just can't seem to leave it because I love the people I work with and 
The work is very enjoyable. It's definitely different than my nine to five job. And that's kind of what I like because I get to do all aspects of IT. Well, I'm really big on consignment and actually buying used. I like to buy used furniture. I like to buy used clothes. Definitely, it's a great way to find quality pieces. So I usually try to meal prep, but sometimes it can get really difficult because I'm always on the go. I'm really fortunate that I have friends who live all over the world. So what I usually do is I buy the plane ticket and then I'm able to stay with them. And it's kind of nice because they know either the language, the culture and the places to go. One of my financial goals is actually to be able to save enough to purchase another property. And I think I'm leaning more towards buying in the city and buying more of a condo because a house can be a lot of maintenance. I actually wanted to create a center of technology to be able to teach other people how to do cybersecurity and be able to teach children and teens and be able to get more people into this type of field, especially when there's a lot of need in this field.